Hello everyone, I'm Xantor and welcome back for more Skyrim. So, um, I've sort of done a bit of time travelling since the last video, um, simply because I found out something horrific about the vampire thing that we transformed into last time. In the daylight, you die. Like, you just take loads of damage. So, instead of that, I'm going to keep my werewolf. I've gone back in time and uh, yeah, I'm going to deny it. So what happens now? So, he's saying, I'm a werewolf, what happens if I accept your gift? And what if I want to remain? He will banish me from the castle. No, I don't want to be a werewolf. I don't want to become a werewolf. Can I talk to you? Make your choice. I don't want to become a vampire. Okay, I'm going to be banished. So what's going to happen now? I've been banished. I don't want to be a vampire. Because, of course, I die in the daylight. Uh, what's going on? Uh, oh, we're here. We're outside of this... Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're outside this castle. Okay. That's fine. Let's, let's head on back. Let's head on back. Hey, look. This is the furthest teleportation we've got to do. Look. We're at the very top left of the map. We go all the way to the bottom right. Oh uh, dear. Well, before we speak with Israel, I, of course, um, want to do some stuff at White Run. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to White Run and, and do a, a bit of stuff. Isn't it past your bedtime? Get to bed, Ailson. It's one of my childs. Oh, look, Leisha's asleep as well. Uh, let's have a look in their chest, see what they've got. Okay, they've got still got a load of rubbish. Ooh, potion of healing. Let's take that. Let's take their potion of healing. They just get, you know, left in the chest for us. I kind of like that system, how it sort of allows you to um, to have, like, whatever you want. Um, or uh, how it allows you to, uh, I don't know, take some of their belongings and stuff. I like that. Lydia, can you move out of the way? I know you're on my side. Move! Get out of here! There you go. Thank you, Lydia. Jeez. You don't want to play outside? Uh, okay then. <laughs> My children are weirdos. And of course, let's make some more iron daggers. Heck yeah. We can make 99 uh, iron daggers. So uh, let's let's get to work, I guess. Smithing at 51. Smithing at 52. Smithing at 53. Smithing at 54. So close to 55. So close to... Okay, okay there we go. We've, we've done that. Um, now we still can't upgrade our um, mace yet because you still don't have enough money which kind of sucks um i think we're not too far away now oh my field of view is gone yeah but we're not too far away um from getting the uh, the upgrade to uh basically upgrade enchanted stuff so for example this right here we can of course eventually upgrade this but uh let's actually go back now now that we've done that to speak with Isran, he'll probably give us a bit of gold, which we can then use to uh, to purchase more stuff. So yeah, that's pretty good. Now I know some of you are probably going to be saying, "Oh, that's cheating!" You know, you can't do that with the vampire thing. You can't just say, you know, "I'm I'm gonna you know go back in time and change my decision." Well, I just have. <laughs> and yeah, like I don't. The the problem with with being a vampire is my friend told me like literally like about 10, 15 minutes um, before recording this video. Um, oh, what's going on up here? Vampires are attacking the place. Okay. Let's kill them. I mean, vampires are, uh, are not supposed to be here. Oh, and as well, I need to start taking um, these, like, weapons. Like, iron axes and stuff. I have news, but I didn't call it good. The vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow, which is the lady. She wanted to go home. They also have an Elder Scroll. I'm lucky I made it out alive. Oh, I need training in heavy armor. We can do this. We can, we can train. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna have to remember Isran. I will have to remember him. Anyway, uh, let's go and recruit the two people who are apparently like all over the place. So one of them is here, a uh, Honey Strand Cave, which we can teleport to. I don't remember this, but apparently we can go here. Isran needs your help. We're up against vampires. Come on, mate. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. One of the eight, apparently. Okay, nice, we've done it. Help him defeat the bear. Where is it? Where is this bear? Oh, I remember this place. I took out this bear, like, a long time ago. Come on, let's just kill it. It's easy. Look at that. I've just killed this guy easily. I don't know how he... You know, how it was apparently so difficult 
to take out this bear. I mean, we took it out really easily. Oh, we gotta go down here, have we? Honey Strand Cave. Apparently we gotta go down here. Oh my god, I'm eating I'm eating some chocolate while the lone screams on. Now there's just hundreds of bears after us. One at a time, one at a time. This is a cave bear, so I'm assuming the cave bears are stronger. And we hit it somehow. Yeah, there you go. Chopped it in the side of the leg. Hell yeah, we did it. How are you, Gunma? You said to meet a fawn door guard. Merida's beacon. I'm sure that's going to be a quest item, so I'm going to take it. What? Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Uh, what's this? This is scary. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. I don't want to become a guitar today. Oh, brilliant. We've started yet another quest. <laughs> right, where's this other person then? Okay, this other person is Soreen Jurad, who is here. So let's go to Dragon Bridge and hire this person. Because Dragon Bridge is the closest place to this person. Oh my god, there's a dragon. I'm going to save quickly, because we might have to take out a dragon today. I don't want to take out a dragon. I don't wanna. Yeah, this guy's freaking out. Look at him. He's like, oh my god, there's a dragon. Okay. No. No. Two dragons. What is this? Uh, crossbow? I guess. There are two dragons attacking at once. This is really bad. Oh my god. Double dragon. <laughs> This is literally Team Double Dragon. Come on, let's take these guys out. This this dragon right here. We're taking out two dragons at once. Oh god. Ah! I shouted at him. Okay, I think we got this guy. Oh dear. Let's sort of back off. I'm low on health. I did it. I killed a dragon. Okay, that's one down. One to go. Let's take everything. Dragon soul absorbed. There he is. There's this dragon. Come on. I'm not afraid of you. Fus Roda. Fus Roda. We did it. We killed a secondary dragon. Wow, that was incredible. We've killed two dragons this video. Wow. Well, well, well. That was interesting. <laughs> We've killed two dragons today. Well, well, well. Now I'm carrying too much. So I'm going to have to go back to White Run to store stuff in some of my chests or something. And then we're going to go back and hire this other person. I can't fast travel while over encumbered. Brilliant. I'm going to have to drop something. I've got like literally nothing I can throw away apart from like a few random potions and stuff. <laughs> Uh, this is really bad. I need a lot more stamina now in order to carry all of this. Okay, we've got 330. So if I drop that, can we fast travel now? We can. Okay. It's pretty cool. And we just dropped a load of junk on the floor. It's all like rolling down the hill. Oh dear. That's pretty good. And let's sell some dragon bones to get some money. Right, so let's level up and let's get some more stamina. Because we need some more stamina. Huh, we can actually increase this. So we can increase arm by 60%. So that's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And of course I'm going to save the next one for our smithing skill, which is right here. Um, to, to smith um, magical weapons and all that. Ooh, although, advanced items can create scaled and plate armor at forges. Ooh, okay. What's this orcish smithing? Ooh, okay. This is pretty good. And we can do one more. So attacks with maces ignore 25% of armor. Okay, I'll take one of those. Question is, if we save, right, and then we kill this guy, will he regain all his money and stuff again? I'd hope so. Let's give it a go. And now let's talk to this guy again. Does he, does he have all his money back again? He does. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. 
And yet again, we've got like 2,000 gold, so let's go and buy some more iron ingots and, and hopefully get the skill that we need. Ah, oh, brilliant. She's not here. Let's... We've got to wait like 13 hours or something. Let's wait. Okay, the lady's here again. Let's talk to her and let's get a load more iron ingots because, I mean... Okay, okay, so we bought a heck of a lot more iron ingots and yeah, let's go and, and create some more iron daggers. This is just what the series is now. Look at that. Look at that, 108, but we can only make 55 because we're running out of leather strips, which you can buy from her as well. So let's get to level 60, and uh, we should then be able to do what I want to do. Level 56, level 57. I don't think we're going to do it, you know. I don't think so. No, I'm running out of leather. I've got, like, no leather. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. I'm so close. So close. No leather, no money. Hang on, I wonder, can we actually steal from this guy? Like, from back here or something? Ah, oh, he's, he's looking at me. <laughs> but it'd be great, you know, if I could steal from this guy and sell him his own stuff. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. And I know this sort of stuff may be a little bit boring, but I mean, I need to do this in order to stay alive and to be ahead of the game. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this. Here we go. Let's buy 17 leather. So this will give us more than enough more than enough leather strips to keep us going 59 come on i just need to get to 60 i think i got this five four three two one oh we did it just about yes that's what we need okay this is it so we're going to our skills in the smithing tree we choose this where we can improve magical weapons and armor so now that we've done that what we can do is we can actually work on trying to upgrade our uh Dwarven mace. So we need one dwarven metal ingot. So dwarven metal ingot is 86 gold. Okay, that's fine. Because all I need to do is sell her the iron daggers we made and we'll have more than enough. Yes, this is good. This is good. So let's improve this thing once and for all. Here we go. A flawless dwarven mace of frost. Let's craft it. Oh yeah, we, this is so much stronger now. This is really strong. I like this. I like this a lot. Anyway, we've done quite a lot this episode. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, we've done quite a lot this episode, so I'm going to leave it here for now. Next time we're going to finish off hiring the people we need to slay all the vampires. So, thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video of Skyrim. Goodbye.